so in this video we will be learning about the prims algorithm now what is prims algorithm used for it is used for finding out minimum spanning tree now if you do not know what is a minimum spanning tree i will highly recommend that you go and watch out my previous video where i have explained what is actually a minimum spanning tree so for this given graph the minimum spanning tree will look something like this and the weight of the minimum spanning tree will be 16 so prim's algorithm is an algorithm that helps us to find this minimum spanning tree so let's understand how does this prim's algorithm work it starts up with the first node yes it starts up with the first node so let's assume i take the node 0 right so you take the node 0 and you start up and now it checks out which is the minimum edge attached to this node 0 so you figure out that the minimum edge attached to this node 0 is nothing but this edge 2 so you just take this edge 2 so let's take this edge 2 so if you're taking this edge 2 it will be connecting you to this node 1 so once you have done this the next step is very simple the next step says again check out among all the adjacent edges of both the nodes now we are going to check out all the adjacent edges of both the nodes so that's this edge that's this edge and that's this edge and that this edge because these four edges are connected to these two nodes so if you check out all the adjacent edges which one is your minimal the minimal is this one so you connect this right so we have connected this right after this again we are going to check which is the minimum edge weight connected to all these guys now for 0 this one is connected for 1 this one and this one is connected for 2 this one is connected now out of all these 4 edges you are going to pick up the minimal one and I see that the minimal one is this one with the 5 edge weight so you just pick it up so once you have picked that up again for all these nodes yes I repeat for all these nodes 0 1 2 4 you pick out which edge among all the adjacent edges is the minimal so for 0 the adjacent edge is 6 for 1 the adjacent edge is again 2 3 5 you have picked up for 2 the adjacent edge is 7 and this one is one more adjacent edge so these three are the adjacent edges that are connected to 0 1 2 and 4 so you basically pick the minimal of them and the minimal of them is 6 so you pick them up and that will connect you to the node 3 now once all the nodes have been connected you can carefully see that the 5 nodes have been connected you can stop and this will be your minimum spanning tree this is what prim's algorithm does it basically picks up a node and then it takes the minimal edges connected to it and subsequently it keeps on taking the minimal edges connected to all the nodes if you haven't understood i'm going to try on one more example so that you understand this algorithm crystal clear and then i'll move on to the implementation part so let's take this graph g2 and try to figure out the minimum spanning tree of this using the prim's algorithm so according to prim's algorithm let's start with the first node so i start with the first node so this is the first node now you check out all the adjacent edges connected to it right now among these you pick up which has the minimum weight so that's this one so you pick up this one so that's picked up now among these two nodes you pick out the adjacent edges connected so for one the adjacent edges are again two and four that that are connected to it and for four the adjacent edges are five three and nine so you pick it up so once you have picked it up among all these things you simply pick up whichever is minimal so i can see that this two is the one which is minimal so i pick this two and that connects you to the node two now again at the next time you check out all the adjacent edges connected to these three nodes so for one you can say this is four for four you can say this five and this nine and this three and for two you can say three as well as seven what we see is this tree is a minimal one but we are not going to pick it why are we not going to pick it the sole reason is because if we pick it you can see we form a cycle 
and in minimum spanning tree there cannot be a cycle the definition in itself is it's a spanning tree so a tree cannot have a cycle so we will not pick this edge rather we will pick someone this tree will be picked up so you pick this tree so if you pick this tree that will connect you to the node 3 so that's done now now the next you check out all the adjacent nodes right so the adjacent nodes are this 5 this 7 this 8 this 4 as well as this 9 and this 3 now again you check out which is the minimal so the minimal gets out to be 3 but again if you connect it you'll form a cycle so that's not required the next minimal that you figure out is actually 4 so why don't you take this 4 so once you take this 4 that will connect you to the node 5 right right after that you again figure out which is the minimal so when you figure out the minimal you'll get it's 7 so you simply pick it up so you pick this 7 up so when you pick this 7 up you'll reach to the 6 so this will be your minimum spanning tree for this particular graph so this was about the algorithm. The intuition is very simple. If you're starting with a node, just attaching the smaller edge weight nodes will be beneficial. And that is how you're going to create your tree. Just keep on adding smaller edge weights so that you can keep the spanning tree as minimal as possible. So that's the intuition. And the next step, I'll be talking about the implementation of this Prim's algorithm. So in order to implement Prim's algorithm, we will be requiring three different arrays. Well, the first array is the key array where everything is initialized to infinity apart from the zeroth index. The second array is the MST array where everything is initialized to false. And the third array is the parent array which is initialized to minus one. Now, I'll be explaining you the use case of these three arrays as I move forward. So, the first step will be to figure out which is the minimum index, right? Which is the index with the minimum possible key value. And that is not a part of the MST. So you need to figure out which index. So I see the index 0 has a value 0 and the MST is marked as false. So I can say the node with index 0 is the minimum index. So I can say that the node with the index 0 is having the minimum possible key value and that's not a part of an MST. So I can start with node 0. The moment you get the minimum possible key value, you say that let's take it and make it a part of our MST. So you just mark it as true. Right after this, what you do is you simply check out all its adjacent edges or nodes. So I see that the adjacent nodes are one and three. So what you do is you basically iterate through its adjacent nodes. So the adjacent nodes are one and three. So first of all, check if this one is a part of MST or not. So that's false. It's not a part of MST. And what is this edge weight? The edge weight is two. So take this edge weight and make sure that you just mark this with this edge weight. And along with this, since from zero, you're moving to one, go to one and say that your parent is zero. Basically what I'm saying is the node one is coming from zero. So I'm marking the parent zero. And at the same time, yes, at the same time, I'm also marking this key. But as of now, do not include this in your MST. Just, just make sure you change the key value and you change the parent, right? What is the other adjacent node? The other adjacent node is node 3. So again, take the weight and mark it over here. And at the same time, please make sure you mark the parent as 0. So I've done that. So what I did was, the first node that I took, I just made sure that its adjacent edges are marked in the key. So that is what I did. So once I have the values at the key array, now I can look for the next node which can be a part of my MST. Again, how am I going to look? You're going to scroll through this key array, right? And figure out which is the minimal value and which is not a part of MST. Now this guy cannot be your minimal value anymore because this is a part of MST. So the next guy that will be your part of your MST will be the index one because it is having a value two and that's the minimal among everyone and the MST is marked as false. So it is not yet present in your MST. So you simply take this node and that's the node one and you make sure that it's marked as true in your 
MST, right? You have done that. Now, what's your next step? To check what are the adjacent edges of one. So that's this, 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 and this. So that is actually connecting the node 0, the node 3, the node 4, and the node 2. Now, firstly, the node 0 is already in your MST, so you do not consider it. Next, whenever you are connecting 1 to 3, the edge weight required is 8. But you have already figured out a better way, 6. So there is no need to take this edge. There is no need to consider this 8. Next, this 4. Whenever you are connecting 4, you are requiring a weight of 5. So you can see at 4, you had an infinity. So you change it by a value 5. And you also make sure that this 4 is changed changes its parent to 1, saying that my parent is 1 now. Next, which is your adjacent node? That's 2. What's the value at 2? Infinity. So you change it and say it's 3 and you say 2's parent is 1. So you made sure that you changed the key value as well as the parent of the corresponding nodes. So that's done. Now we will move to the next step. The next step will be again to iterate on the key array and figure out which is the minimal value. Now, we can say that these two guys will not be the minimal value. Why? Because they are part of your MST. Now, you have already taken them into your MST. So, the next node which is having a minimal value is the node 2. If you carefully observe that, that is having a value 3. So, you take the node 2. So, let's take it. And once you have taken this, so that's a part of your MST. So, you mark it as true. Right after this, who are adjacent of 2? That's 1 as well as 4. So 1 and 4, what are the edge weights for connecting to 1? There's no need to connect because that's already in your minimum spanning tree. And in order to connect with 4, the edge weight it is requiring is 7. But you already have 5 for 4. So will you consider the edge weight connecting uh, 4 as 7? No, because you already can connect it with 5. So you do not consider this. And we will move to the next step. Now the next time you will again iterate over the key array and you'll figure out which is having the minimal key possible value and that's the node 4 if you carefully observe that is the node 4 so you figure that out once you figure that out again please make sure you mark the MST as true and now what are the adjacent nodes of 4 you can say that's 1 that's 2 now both of them are already a part of your MST so there's no need to consider it now similarly you will move forward and you'll do for the next minimal and you'll figure out that the node uh, 3 is the next minimal and you'll take it and make it a part of your MST and whenever you figure out the adjacent nodes of 3 that is 0 and 1 and you'll see that both of them are part of your MST so you'll again not consider them so once you have done this you will have your parent array ready right you'll have your parent array ready now so in order to get the edges of the MST what you need to do is you need to iterate from 1 to 4 why not from 0 to 4 because if you remember in our algorithm we always started from the node 0 so this guy can never have a parent so you always started from node 0 so as of now you can see that 1 is having a parent as 0 that means this edge so you just write this edge at the next you see that the node 2 is having a parent as 1 so you can say that that is this edge so you simply write this edge at the next step you see that this node 3 is having a parent 0 so which apparently means this edge at the next step you can see that the node 4 is having a parent 1 so you can say that this is this edge so once you have went through this parent array you can actually get your MST and this will be your MST so the intuition of the algorithm was uh, super simple we just started with a single node and then we picked up the edges with the minimal weight and expanded the tree and we kept on doing till we did not get n nodes and n minus 1 edges and once we got that we simply stopped because we had got our minimum spanning tree so that was about the prims algorithm so in the next video we will be talking about two different types of implementation of this prims algorithm one is the brute implementation while the other one is the efficient implementation so if this question comes up in the interview obviously you're going to start with the brute implementation and then you're going to optimize that into the efficient implementation so in the next set of videos i will be discussing the c plus plus as well as the java implementation for the brute as well as the efficient and when i'll implement the code then i will explain you 
what is the time complexity of both the methods till then i'll be wrapping up this video i hope you have understood the prims algorithm so just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video and let's meet in the next video where we will be discussing the brute as well as the efficient implementation of c++ as well as java Whenever your heart is broken.